Before we get into the video, be sure to hit like and subscribe because it's cheaper than buying me a coffee and it helps this channel just as much. Okay, so most people never touch their Windows firewall, which means they're running security on autopilot. With just a few changes, you can go from bare minimum to properly protected. And today I'll walk you through exactly how to do it. Windows Defender firewall isn't flashy, but it decides what comes in, what goes out, and whether your laptop looks like a locked door or an open invite. The problem, well, defaults are designed for convenience, not proper security. And that's fine at home, but on public Wi-Fi or at work, those same settings can leave you exposed. So in this video, we'll cover the quick hardening tricks that you can do in under a minute, plus advanced rules that give you full control. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Safety Detectives, and let's just get right into it. So here's what most people miss. Windows Firewall isn't just on or off. It runs in three different modes, depending on where you are. Domain is for work networks, where IT sets the rules. Private is your home network, safe enough for printers or smart TVs. And public is a coffee shop or airport Wi-Fi, basically hacker territory. Each profile has its own posture. Private lets your device talk, while public should slam the doors so no stranger on the same hotspot can poke around. And whatever the network, keep the firewall on for all three profiles. Turning it off to fix a problem is like pulling batteries out of a smoke alarm. You only make things worse. So now let's it's hard in the settings so public Wi-Fi isn't a nightmare. Okay, let's make Windows Firewall actually work for you. Here's the 60 second hardening checklist. Step one is to make sure it's on. Sounds obvious, but many people do have it off and don't even realize it. Go to settings, privacy and security, Windows security, and select firewall and network protection. Check that your active profiles, usually private and public at home or domain if you're on a work network, all show a green shield. Step two is to set sketchy Wi-Fi to public. On hotel, airport, or cafe, networks, click your Wi-Fi, properties, and set it to public. That tells the firewall to stop trusting other devices. Step three is to block all incoming connections on public. Open Windows Security, select Firewall and Network Protection and your active network, and toggle Block All Incoming Connections, including those in the list of allowed apps. You can also do this from the control panel by going to Windows Defender Firewall, turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off, then check it under Public. This is going to refuse connections for all programs, so even apps that you normally allow won't get through. And just a heads up, it can also break things like file sharing or remote desktop, which is why it's best for untrusted networks. Step four is to keep notifications on. When a new app wants network access, you want to know about it. Leave notifications enabled so that you can allow or deny on the spot. You'll find this under Windows Security, Firewall and Network Protection, Firewall Notification Settings. And you'll want to make sure that Notify Me when Microsoft Defender Firewall blocks a new app is checked. And that's it for quick tweaks and your laptop is already much harder to poke at. By the way, if you're serious about hardening your setup, then we also tested YouTube parental controls and even showed how to block age checks on apps like Reddit and Spotify. Definitely worth a watch after this video. So firewalls block traffic by default, but sometimes you actually want an app to get through. Maybe it's a remote desktop, a multiplayer game, or a small web server. Well, here's the easy way. Go to Control Panel, Windows Defender Firewall, and select Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And in there, you'll see a list of apps with checkboxes, and you'll wanna check Private if you only want it on trusted home networks. Check Public if you're okay with it on cafe Wi-Fi, for example, but you you almost never want that. For example, you can enable remote desktop on a private network so you can connect from another PC at home. Just remember, this only opens the firewall. You also need to turn on remote desktop in settings, system, remote desktop for it to work. But enabling it on public networks isn't a great idea, as you may have guessed. As a rule of thumb, if you're not 100% sure that an app needs public access, then just stick to private only. And if you're curious about some plug and play firewall options, then check out our video on the best firewalls for Windows. All right, now let's go a bit deeper. Instead of allowing an entire app, you can actually create custom inbound rules for precise control over what traffic gets in. To do this, go to Control Panel, Windows Defender Firewall, and click Advanced Settings. On the left, click Inbound Rules, then choose New Rule. You can target a program, open or block a port, use Microsoft's predefined rules, or go fully custom. So let's say that you're setting up a web server. Pick port, choose TCP, and type 80 and 443. 
Tell Windows to allow the connection, but only on private or domain networks. You'll want to leave public unchecked because you don't want strangers on cafe Wi-Fi hitting your server. Then just finish by naming it something like inbound web traffic and you're done. The rule now works only where you want it to instead of opening the door everywhere. Now, so far we've talked about traffic coming in, but by default, Windows Firewall lets almost everything go out. And that means any app can phone home, grab updates, and send data without asking you. Outbound rules let you control what apps are allowed to send. So let's say that you've got an app that's a little bit too chatty. Maybe it pings servers that you don't trust, or you just don't want it eating up your bandwidth. Well, open Advanced Settings, select Outbound Rules, and click New Rule. Choose Program, point it to the apps.exe, then hit Block the Connection. Now, whenever that particular app tries to send traffic, it hits the wall. By default, Windows allows all outbound traffic unless a block rule exists, so one rule is all it takes to silence it. Inbound rules keep bad stuff out, outbound rules stop unwanted stuff from leaking, and together they give you full control. Now, once you've built a few of these rules, you'll want to know that they're actually working, and this is where things get a little more complicated, but bear with me. For logging, open Advanced Settings, right-click on Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security on Local Computer, then hit Properties. For each profile, go to Logging, Customize, and turn on Log Dropped Packets. Windows saves the log in your system folder under Log Files Firewall. You can open it in Notepad to see exactly what traffic got blocked. For a quick test, open PowerShell, and you can run a command like test net connection to check if a port is actually open, or get net firewall rule to see your custom rules as well. And don't worry, we'll put the exact commands on screen. Between the log file and a quick test, you'll know if your firewall is actually protecting you, not just looking good in the menu. Now, tweaking these firewall rules can get messy fast, so always back up your config configuration before experimenting. In advanced settings, go to the action menu and select export policy. That creates a file that you can re-import later if something breaks. And if things really go sideways, there's always a reset button. In control panel, click restore defaults or run netch ADV firewall reset from the command line. Just know that this obviously wipes out all of your custom rules, so only use this if you're ready to start fresh. And if you're on a work computer, some settings may be grayed out. That's group policy or MDM from IT, so nothing you can change locally. Now, if you're comfortable and familiar with PowerShell, then you can skip the menus and create rules instantly. For example, one command in PowerShell can open ports 80 and 443, but only on domain and private networks. We'll put it on screen so you can copy it if you need it. And if you ever see the option, allow the connection if it's secure, then know that this relies on IPsec authentication, usually in business domains. On a home PC, just stick with the regular allow the connection. For most users, the graphical interface is enough, but PowerShell's just the fast lane if you want it. So here's the big picture. Windows Defender Firewall is already built into your system. It's free and with the right tweaks, it's actually pretty powerful. And the essentials are pretty simple. Keep it on for all three profiles, mark sketchy Wi-Fi as public, block all incoming connections on public, and only allow apps or ports that you truly need and keep those rules to private or domain. You also want to back up your settings before experimenting and reset if things go off the rails. Do that and your setup will be tighter than most Windows PCs out there. If this feels a bit advanced as a mobile only user, then no worries at all. We've got a video on doing a quick two minute security check on your phone that is simple, fast, and locks down the basics. But as always, thank you so much for watching Safety Detectives, and if you found this video useful, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more ways to keep your devices locked down and your data safe online.